What's up guys, Jordan Anderson here from Valley Films and today we're going to be covering Instagram as a filmmaker. So Instagram, we all know what it is. It's a mobile app where you can share pictures and videos. It's got about 150 million or so users per month. And I've run into a few people that still don't have Instagram and a lot of them are creatives or even businesses. This isn't gonna be about your personal Instagram. I wanna gear this video towards businesses and creatives looking to join the Instagram game, kinda of give little tips and tricks. Obviously, Instagram was bought by Facebook, so if you're not on Instagram, then you're pretty much ignoring that entire user base that Facebook has as well. If you're still holding back, trying to decide whether or not Instagram's the right thing to do, uh, now's the time to really dive in and really just start to get your hands dirty with Instagram. Before we get into all the nuances of Instagram, I want to kind of give you guys a little update about what's been going on with Instagram, say the past year or so. You can now upload content that's not in the square shape, so Instagram was notorious that all your pictures had to be in the one by one square crop format and even, uh, even your videos had to be in the one by one. They decided to go widescreen for everything so you can now upload widescreen photos and videos and not have to be restricted to that one by one square ratio. Another nuance that came about quite a while ago, but some people may not have realized this, that you can upload videos to Instagram now. Um, they're 15 seconds long, so they're a little bit longer than Twitter video. So that's kind of a huge thing for videographers, cinematographers, filmmakers like ourselves trying to show off their stuff on Instagram. So let's get into the nuances of Instagram. So the first nuance is the use of hashtags. In the Twitter world, hashtags are seen sort of as a, uh, you know, like taking a piece of candy in the office. You know, if you take more than one or two, you're gonna kind of look uh, a little weird and maybe be looked down upon by members of your community. But for hashtags and Instagram, take as many as you want, use as many hashtags as possible because think of hashtags and Instagram as Google search words. So a photo like this here, see we have like a picture of a Ronin. Um, we would use hashtag filmmaking, hashtag cinematography, hashtag valley films, and then the relevant content such as hashtag Ronin, hashtag Ronin M, hashtag DJI. All of that's relevant and all that's searchable. So if you were to click on any one of those hashtags, they would end up finding your photo because it would go into that search bin. Next, let's get into another nuance. I think we got really dark in here. I'm gonna need to bump up the brightness. <laughs> the, the next nuance is tagging people. Now, uh, I don't, now this isn't talking about tagging the photo, so like clicking on tagging the person in the photo. The tag that I'm talking about is in the comment section. So if you see something that's of interest to you and you have a friend on Instagram that you wanna kinda of tie into this, what you do is you comment their name using the at sign and their username, and then you say like a cool comment, like, hey, check this out, or hey, thought this was cool, what do you think about this? So with tagging in the comments, you're not only starting a conversation between your friend that you've just now tagged, but you're also starting a conversation with the content creator. We want to create positive conversation, positive engagement loops where everyone's engaging with everyone else. Probably the main nuance with Instagram is that all the content is mobile only. So you can upload the content from your computer the same way you would do it like for Facebook or YouTube. So as a filmmaker, you're having to try to kind of work around these kind of mobile barriers a little bit to get your videos on there. So when you see people with professional photos or professional videos, what they're having to do, they're having to put that content in mobile form put it on their phone, and then upload it directly from their phone to Instagram. Because on Instagram, you cannot go to their website and upload content. You have to go through the app. So the workaround I do for that, uh, that's been the quickest and easiest, and I'm not sure if this applies to everybody else or if, if you have a different method, then please leave it in the comments. But the method I've used to get the mobile content from, say, my computer or Adobe Photoshop or something like that, I'll email the content to myself. 
uh, I'll go to my mobile email. I'll download it from my mobile email and save it to my iPhone's library. And then from there, I'll take the content to Instagram and upload it there. And with the update of having widescreen videos, you can now have a widescreen video and have it show up perfectly. So what I end up doing, I have like this, like one email just called Instagram. It's just like a 30 email thread just to myself where I'm just sending myself photos from my computer, downloading it on my phone and then uploading it to Instagram. Now, like I said, I don't, I'm not sure how other people do it, but that's been the easiest for me. So a key thing to do on Instagram is just to post fun content. Like it's, Instagram's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be serious. It's not supposed to be, it's, you're not supposed to be selling stuff on Instagram. You're not supposed to be kind of pushing your, your latest product out. So you need to figure out what your audience wants and kind of figure out what's relevant to them, what really resonates with them. I'll give you an example. So Valley Films is a video production company and what we've done is we've posted you know, video production photos, mostly behind the scenes, gear, uh, latest motion graphics, little quick trailers that we've been working on. And that usually gets the most feedback, most positive feedback. I mean, as, as a business, you post what you want, of course, but like you're trying to figure out what resonates the most with audiences and like what does the audience want the most and then sort of like kind of, and then start to kind of steer towards that Okay, so I gotta talk about this. I wanna say that this is the most important part of this video. Just kinda pause it right here, get all that previous information. But now let's sit down and let's talk about the most important part of Instagram, and that's the engagement. Engagement is so critical on Instagram. And I say it's the most important because it's the most underrated. Everyone's trying to figure out how to get the coolest photo on Instagram. Everyone's trying to figure out what's the best filter for your photo, but really 50, the other 50% of Instagram is engagement. Go on Instagram, like other people's photos, comment on other people's photos, and just start a conversation. Just start positive feed loops. Just start, start these small little fires elsewhere. I encourage you on, probably on a daily basis, find one of those hashtags that you really drill down on. So, so for us, like we find the hashtag cinematography and I'll just go into the rabbit hole for hashtag cinematography. You know, engage with it, comment on it. it. There's nothing wrong with even just leaving a simple comment like, hey, great pick, or you know, send, a, send an emoji if you had to. It's, it's all about engaging on Instagram because if you just wanna push content, you're not gonna get as much authentic engagement. Don't just be the guy that's just sitting back and just pushing out content and say, yeah, look how cool I am. Look at all my, look at all my cool photos. Don't you like all these? Positive vibes create positive vibes, and I'll say it again, start small fires everywhere, and you're gonna have a big bonfire of a following. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Jordan Anderson from Valley Films, and be sure to follow us on Instagram, and if you have any questions, send it to us on Instagram, or you can even send it to us on Twitter. Either way, I'll be happy to answer it, and uh, we'll see you next week on the Valley Films video blog. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up guys? Jordan Anderson here from Valley Films. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, then I highly encourage you to, because this shit is free.